Photop and Photoshop are two image editing and manipulation programs. How do both differ? In this video, we cover Photop versus Photoshop. So, let's get started. All right, so what are both? Photop is a free web-based photo editor, while Photoshop is a premium program that we install before using. If you are just starting, you will find Photop more user-friendly. It's much easier to use. Now, with that in mind, there are some drawbacks of Photop. The tool sometimes freezes while editing and some features are not as smooth as Photoshop. One of the things that separate them is the number of editing options. Photop has fewer tools. If you want a list of all the common tools that you find in both, then here's your moment. We can see that both offer all the basic options. Now, let's talk about the tools in Photop. Photop supports opening URL images and it offers many free PSG templates. We don't have those two features in Photoshop. However, here's the list of editing tools Photoshop offers that you don't find in Photop. So if you want any of those options, you only have the option to use Photoshop. Let's talk about the supported file formats. Both support raster, vector and raw image formats. When you open a raw image in Photoshop, it shows a raw editor. The editor can be used for adjustments before importing the photo. You can also save the raw image as JPEG without opening it. In terms of exporting, Photoshop is the winner. It supports more formats than Photop. Here's the list of all the formats that both programs support. Both also come with hundreds of templates. Photop has a section to see and use all PSG templates. It categorizes templates in social, resume, memes and more. Photoshop on the other hand shows templates while creating a new photo. Under each preset option, you find several free templates. On the bottom, you also find a search bar to search for templates on Adobe Stock. Some are free while some templates are premium. Photoshop is famous for some other options. It can bring additional functionalities with the help of plugins. You find several free and premium third-party apps to take it to the next level. The program also supports sharing designs and getting feedback from team members. Team members can comment and add annotations to the photo. The feature is available on the desktop, web and iPad. Moving on, as discussed, Photop is free. The premium plan costs a few bucks per month which removes ads and offers advanced edit history. Photoshop on the other hand costs $10 per month or $119 upfront for the yearly subscription. The plan comes with 20 gigabytes of cloud storage and the Lightroom program. So which one should you use? Photop has what beginners need. If you are starting, then Photop is the one to choose. It is also free so that you won't be spending any money. Another reason to use Photop is that it looks similar to Photoshop. So even in the future, if you decide to move to Photoshop, it won't take much time to learn. If you already have some experience and want to access all possible options, go with Photoshop. It will give you the power to take your career to the next level. Of course, unless your imagination stops you. Anyway, this was the Photop versus Photoshop video. Thanks for watching. Please let me know your favorite program in the comments and click on the like button if the video helped. I'll catch you later. Until then, take care.